Hey, sorry guys, uh, you kind of ran out of recording space. So, I get what I was saying, was trying to say before is, can you rest this when you're like, you're like bent over, like hugging your chest? You can easily, <clears throat> as you can easily take your fist and shove it like right in his ball sack. Okay. How would you react if an hacker? If an attacker in front of you covers your mouth telling you not to scream. What you can easily do with that, like, is you can easily, like, take his wrist and spin it. Which is easy because it doesn't require any strength on your part. Like, it doesn't require any strength whatsoever for, your, for you. It just requires you to, like, you have to do this fast. Like, wicked fast. Otherwise, he's going to catch on and he's going to stop you from doing it. And once he brings this other arm around, you want to pin that as well. And then you want to bring, like, your foot, like, underneath his, so that way you swipe his feet out from under him. And, in which case, he's probably going to hit his head on the sidewalk, which would knock him unconscious. Okay. And last question. Wee. Also, if it would be a very difficult situation, what tactics would you use if tactics... If you would use, if attacked by two men and with no possibility option, but to act defending yourself. By two men? Hmm. I guess what I would do in that situation would be to... That's a really hard question. Uh, two men with no possibility option. I guess what you would attempt to do, like, you have no choice but to defend yourself. I actually wanted in to include this uh, this time, so I actually get a chance to do this this time. What you could easily do is what I'm about to sh uh, show you. Is what I'm about to show you. You can do that for one guy, and then you just uh, just attempt to take down the second one. Is is really all I can tell you. I mean, that's a really hard question because like, I'm pretty good with self defense. But I've never had to go up against two guys. <sighs> so yeah, you can use the technique that I'm about to show you. Like, I received this in a message. So I'm going to show you guys it. But I guess the only other possibility would be to, like... Just go on ninja on him. Just go on ninja. Like, take one, flip it, take one, flip it, and just like, I don't know. Like, if you're, if you're not really that good with, like, martial arts and self-defense, the best I can tell you is... Go down swinging. Don't give up. Because if you give up, then they won. And you still, you still have a possibility of defending yourself. Just aim for, just grab whatever you can. Don't let it go. Dig your nails in and punch whatever you can. All right, I'm just gonna show you this. This actually goes along with what I was saying. All right. So I got this from Mandy Stevens. Okay. Okay, she has some self-defense classes as well. Oh, shoot, sorry. Hold on. I have my headphones in. I gotta pull it back. Sorry about that. I'm gonna turn the sound off. Oh! Okay, hold on. Sorry about that. I'm a little uh, screwed today. 
Let's just get more from school. Sliding it underneath and between my legs, I turned my hand palm upwards underneath his crotch and then slapped my hand upwards. Instantly, I knew I had found what I was looking for, and I tightened my grip around his testicles. As I squeezed, he immediately released my other arm and tried to pull my hand away at the wrist. As he rolled off onto his back, I kept a firm grasp and rose to my knees and tried to stand. I felt his body tense up as he was having the life squeezed out of him. He began curling, so I lowered myself to compensate and compress my fingers harder. Please, he begged, you're going to crush them, but it was too late. At that point, I could have easily brushed him aside, but I didn't. I kept on squeezing harder and harder as he flattened out of my grasp. The inevitable moment came and his testicles gave. He curled up, vomiting in more pain than he could possibly endure. I got up and found the panic link on the wall and told the operator to send the police. Of course, my parents freaked out at what happened, but were so relieved that they didn't come home to serious harm, just to a nasty bruise and a headache. Soon after, he was sentenced to 25 years for my attempted rape and several other crimes he admitted to committing in the past. He lost one testicle, and the other had to be removed as it was badly damaged and beyond repair. Not bad for an 80-pound weakling. So, yeah. That's... Yeah, that's basically it. So, I wish all of you the best of luck. If you have any questions then just message me. Sorry, it's in the wrong sock. So just message me, and then like this video, and favorite it, subscribe, and become an amigo.